I can't believe it. You want to go back in the Orbeez again? Yeah. So guys, Tiana, Summer and Isla want to go back in the Orbeez. Yeah. I cannot believe it. So what we've decided to do is do a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the Shopkins challenges, Tiana, yeah? Yeah. With the Shopkins and Orbeez. Yeah. They, so this, this is the same as that, but what we're going to be using this time instead of Shopkins. Fashions and mushrooms. Yeah, squishiness. Squishy. As you, Squish, as you call it. So, we're going to put some mushrooms and fashions in the Orbeez. In the Orbeez bath, that's right. And whoever finds the first five, first five, wins. What? Two. Not just that, not just that. I've got this one as well. Boom. So, so we've got another LOL surprise doll, and this is going to be placed in the bath as well. And believe it or not, yes, it's big, but I still think you'll struggle to find it. What? Yeah, I do. I do. Well, anyway, whoever comes across this gets to keep it. Yeah! <laughs> okay, ears again, summer's back. All right. So what we're going to do, put the mushrooms and fashions in the bath and you can see this as well, guys. So everybody, get some squishiness. Squishiness for me. So your winning prizes are right there waiting for you. Yeah. All right, so let's get some squishiness. 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 More squishiness. There's about 30 fashions and mushrooms. But there's one thing I need to do. Why don't you go into the shower so you don't see where I put them in the bath? Yeah. We've got to keep this private. Okay, here we go. Getting the squishiness. Oh, wow, that's deep. Okay, let's get rid of these mashems and fashions. Squash them all down, guys. Squash them all down. And remember, there's an LOL surprise doll going in there as well. I think that's all done. All right then, girls, you want to come back round then? Yeah! Right, so summer's in, next one. Go right to the end then, summer. Right to the end! Okay, Tiana. Isla. Isla. Boom! Right. Okay. There's another one there, I've just spied. Eyes closed, eyes closed, eyes closed, eyes closed. Okay. Isla said there's one there. Oh, I'm putting it with the bear. I'm in with the squishiness. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll save you. Main prize. So, over to you guys when you're ready. Three, two, one, oh. Is it gonna be? Oh, 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 oh. I knew it would be on. I knew it. And you guys see. Wow, Tiana's first on the score sheet. What you got? So, Tiana's found the first mashup. And remember, girls, you don't have to stay in the bath. You can get out and move different places. You can go anywhere you want to go. So yeah, so you ready again for round two? Yeah, six, 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 four, seven. All right. I'm going to back away from me. I'm going back in. No, oh, Is it going to be for the second mashup or fashion? Come on, one's probably able to find one faster than you. No, I think I felt something. Oh, this is a long round. That's a giant orby. <laughs> Wait. Remember, you got to dig deep. It's a deep bath, deep deep. I can't be tough. Oh, I don't know. Yes! Oh! 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 Wow, well done, Isla. Well done. 
So that's a point on Ireland's score and she gets the LOL surprise! Yes. Woo! Summer! Which mushroom is it? Ah! Oh. 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 Which one is it? What have you got? I'm not sure. It's golden though, I know that. <laughs> that looks like a villain. Yeah? Let us know in the comments down below. Someone close to look. If you know this mushroom. Score update! Tiana's on two, Summer's on one, Isla's on one. Remember girls, dig deep. Over to you. Dig deep, remember? Oh. Wow! Well done Tiana! So which one's that one? I remember this now. Yeah. It's evil. I remember. Yeah. Three. 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 Round six. Six, six, let's go. I'm looking for one. What's so special about Summer's side? Well, that's where you've all gone to. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Isla's side. No one's nearer near it. I bet that's where Mashems are. Fashions are. Oh, oh. oh, look at this, Nala. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> ah, so funny. So which one have you got? Troll. Is it a troll? A troll. Let's have a look, Tiana. <laughs> Yeah! So Gianna, I'm sure you just need one to win. Summer's on one, Anna's on one. Is that right? Wait, yeah, yeah! Does that sound right? Yeah. You've got four already? Yeah. yeah. Four, five, six, yeah, that makes sense. Is that right, Anna? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, two. I forgot what round is okay. Anna's, no, Summer's in the right spot. Look, she's gone to that spot all on her own. Get it. Is Tiana gonna get it? I can see a giant orby. Hi, Tiana. Oh, this is This is a long round. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if I didn't, I thought this was a magic. That's a giant orby. Come on, Mom! Oh, Summer. Oh, yes. Have a look what you got, Summer. Got DC Comics. DC Comics, my Isla's on the score sheet. What have you got, Isla? I've got Belle. She's on two now. Well done. Belle, nine, three, two, one, go. I feel like it's awesome in here. What's that? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Ow! Belle, what? Jordan! Yay! Yeah. 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 Who is it? My little pony, Pinkie Pie. I don't know what he's calling. Oh, wow. And that was cool. Yeah. That was cool. So Tiana, you're the champion! There you go. Bye. Summer. Good sport. Enjoy your house. Oh, I don't have that one yet. I've got this one. It has two drama queens. That's oh, yeah, drama queen. Drama queen? Who's a drama queen? Tia. <laughs> okay, is that the first thing you've opened one of them, Isla? Yeah. Seven layers of surprise. My first oh, layer of surprise. surprise. I know. I've got that one. Oh. And this one says, to review a surprise, it says, change of colour. No, it's just one of those. Okay, see if I can get it. Let's see through Pinkie Pie. Wait, what? See through Pinkie. No. Oh. What is that? Ooh. I'm on my first surprise. Duplicate. Oh, no. No. I love it. But I love it. This one's cool. Wait, I don't actually know if I've got this one. The yellow one. What is it? Is that right, Tiana? The yellow one blossom? Yeah. Pinkie Pie. Isn't it? Blossom. What is it? It's not blossom. It's Sweetie it's Belle Blossom. Uh, no. Can I have some Sweetie Belle? Of course. Uh, Thank you. Well, <laughs> it's done seven layers nearly already. I want to mine one of my last layers. Okay, you need those either. I can't. <laughs> the blind bag. The scissors aren't very good, are they? So, this. I'm oh, I got a pink one. 
special. And one of my second chance, I think. So what do you think is the challenge? You girls asking to oh, go back in the cool. Orbeez? Mm. I want to get back in the big Oh game. no, that's it. Oh. Me too. The only thing that Orbeez are going to go back into, well not back, but in, a skip. No! no. And bye bye. I'm going to put some salt on them tomorrow and start shrinking them. No! Look yeah, at Isla. So that's the big blind bag, that Isla. Yeah, that's the last one, the, the doll. Oh, wait, one more here. Yeah, you've got to open that first. I think that's the base. Is that the I've base? I've got a duplicate. Is the have you? Yeah, well, you I have got, got quite a few in your collection. I've got one that I don't mm -hmm. have, so next one. <laughs> the scissors aren't very good on the Isla. No. Yeah. I'll help you with that. I think these are the better. Ooh, hello, hello. Okay. There you go. The crown! And you buy them back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got this one as well. Um, quite right. quite as much. I've got both of like them. What's Ali got? Has Ali got a duplicate for you or for you? I don't know. I need to build it. Okay. Let's open this. I've got both of them. So I'm going to put this in here. He's so cute. Nice. So I'm just randomly opening lots of different layers at once. Yo. Her outfit's going on. Right, there's her the outfit. Those are so cute, aren't they? Yeah. Cuties. I think this doll, um, yeah, what's it called? Pride. Yeah, I'm going to see if I oh, can get these. Oh, yours is so cool, Lila. I've been wanting that one for ages. Good fancy. I have And there's the When I first yeah. saw it onto the checklist, I thought Shit. I'd have to get that one. What if you get it in there? It's no, there. I don't have it. Is it? No, it's not. It's not, they don't have the same one. Hers was Drama Queen, remember? Yeah, but because it's Let's see which one my name is. Wait, that was the accessory as Tiara. And this is a Tiara. Wait, oh, where's this? I don't know the name. I've got it though. How do you take the Tiara? Oh, it's here. It's easy. <laughs> What's that? That's a bottle. bottle. Bottle, shoes. Look, this it. one's really cool though. Yeah. I want it gone and let's stick it there. <laughs> this keeps on falling off. I'm going to see who it's called. The marching one. Come on! It is called. What? What? The margaret. That's a word. What? Margaret. Oh, yeah. Very uh, there, there's a the tiara. This is Yours is so cute. Margaret. Me and George was both. Yes, my mum. And this one cries. How do you know? Because it looks good. There it again. And <coughs> you never know this one what it's called like fancy. I think it does. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Normally, it when, it, normally, I it's the cries. normally yeah, when the I do it, normally when I guess, I guess it, and then it's not right. Oh, yeah. I, don't know I remember if it does. Let's see if what it, does. it cries. Because oh. So has it says it's fancy. Every buff we bring one of our other mm. other surprises. <laughs> you see what we what it does? We never actually. Remember. I think this is called fancy. I'm I'm fresh, which is it is. Fancy. Yeah, this is. Wait, no, wait, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. And too. it's popular. I'm and actually fresh. Fancy, did so you get it? Did you get it? Somewhere, do you have fresh? Uh, um, yeah, I have fresh. Mm, 
wearing pig. It's wearing <laughs> it's wearing um cowboy shoes. <laughs> I have that's um, a servant thing. I I also have what's the name again? Lion dance, so she's a cowgirl. Ooh. Oh cool! Oh look, it's a baby! So I So this is my LOL doll and it's called Fancy and it's a popular and it's so cute. This is my LOL doll, it's called Marjorie and it's a Fancy and then here is Sis Swing and she's a popular. So this is Pinkie Pie but it's see Seafrub and I think this one's called Blossom, I'm not too sure. Yeah, if it's Blossom then nice one but if not, comments down below, let us know. <laughs> But do you have to take them away tonight? I think I'll start processing that tomorrow with the salt. I think Mum's going to put some salt on tonight and hope they will shrink. We'll have to see. It's like it. <laughs> Here's Mum now coming up. We've got the salt ready. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, no, that's not salt. So, yeah, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> this song goes out to all the spinners out there. Just keep spinning. <laughs> Let go. I love fidget spinners from my head to my toes. I even love them spinning right here on my nose. Got one on my left, another on my right. I'll be out here spinning from the morning to the night. Hold up for a minute and just watch me as I spin it. If you want a smoothie, then just holla and I'll blend it. Paste some greens, colored beans, butter, lettuce, spinach. Cup about a hundred of the fidgets that keep spinning. Custom fidget spinner, so you know that no one's got them. I toss one in the air and just catch it from the bottom. Got these fidget spinners and they spin it all around. If I pick one up, then you know it's going down. Hey! I love fidget spinners from my head to my toes. I even love one spinning right here on my nose. Got one on my left, another on my right. I'll be out here spinning from the morning to the night. I love the way that it spins around like a hula hoop in a helicopter. A Ferris wheel goes round and round, but my fidget spinner does it faster. I'm spinning, making cotton candy here on planet Earth. For real? Both of them still spinning, but the fidget's where it's worth. Hey! Don't turn around. Turn around. Don't look back. Don't the only thing that should be spinning is this little toy that keeps trending. It's my biggest fan. Electric fan. It's spinning, man. Oh, man. And I hope you know it's not ending. This right here is just beginning. I love fidget spinners from my head to my toes. I even love one spinning right here on my nose. Got one on my left, another on my right. I'll be out here spinning from the morning to the night. I love fidget spinners. I love fidget spinners. I just, I just love them spinners. I just love them spinners. I love fidget spinners. I love fidget spinners. I just, I just love them spinners. I just love them spinners. Fidget spinner. What's up guys, your boy Philip here from Spinnercraft. Thanks so much for joining me. We got a great video for you today because every single month we do a top five spinners of the month review. We go in depth, we talk about why those are the top five for the month, what happens to be trending, what's popular, and what are the pros and cons of each of those fidget spinners. So I'm excited to bring that to you guys in just a moment. Hold on, get ready. We got great spinners for you in just a moment. I can't wait to show you guys this one. This thing is amazing. 
with one of my bullets go. Oh yeah, love it when it works. Love it when it works. Oh, it's a hot day out. I literally can't stop spinning this one. Okay guys, let's get right into our top five spinners. Now the first spinner that I have here is a spinner that's very limited. Uh, it's called the Corsair. And this spinner comes from an Instagram online uh, designer. His name is Pozniakoff. I'll put his name on the screen. And he just makes wonderful, wonderful pieces. Now you guys might have seen the original piece that I got from him a while back ago called Maze. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. Love the design. First person to really start to integrate a lot of spaces in his work, and it just came out fantastic. And then he made this second one, the Corsair, and he made this as a special gift for me. He actually made it with the Spinnercraft logo and cap on there. Look at that, how amazing is that? What a beautiful, beautiful gift. But uh, if you get it without it, of course, it, it doesn't, if you get it normally from him, it doesn't have that on it but you can see just the work and the craftsmanship that he does and puts in his pieces. Uh, it's really, really, really nice. I mean, obviously, this isn't, this isn't a $20, $30 spinner. Uh, there was a lot of work put into this and a lot of finish that was done by hand. Uh, of course, they all come with ceramic bearings, and it's just a stunning piece. Has a nice, nice, easy, easy spin. You can get a nice warp with it when you're outside in the light. And more than anything, I just love how the caps are. They're so smooth. They're super low profile. He does an amazing job with a nice low profile cap. Not a lot of gap there. Uh, so you don't get really any wiggle here, which is awesome. And it makes just for a nice little play with the cap when you kind of just give it a little spin like that. So this is uh, one of my top five for this month. Really, really digging that. Uh, thanks so much, Pozniakoff. The next spinner we're gonna talk about in our top five today is the Hex Baller. And this is an awesome, awesome spinner. Now, first of all, obviously it looks beautiful even at slow spins. And when you get this outside, you can get some amazing, amazing shots in the light, as you can see even here just now. It's obviously reminiscent of the Big Baller for those of you that got the Big Baller. This is the crowd favorite. Everybody likes this because of the ways you can mod it out. You can put half one color here, half one color there. You can swap the caps. You can take a ball out if you want. You can change the weights. I mean, this is so fun. It was great for tricking. And this is just a big jump from the traditional standard, you know, ABS style spinner. We're jumping to something like this, and then we jump from something like this just to a different style and a layout for the hex spinner. Instead of it being a two-arm spinner, this is more of a unibody spinner. Um, I guess you could kind of call it six mini arms, but it's probably more of a unibody spinner. And look at that, I mean, just easy, easy spins, stunning design. And the thing that I really like about this is it comes in the new rubberized plastic. So when you get a feel here, it actually has a bit of a different feel than the big baller. It has a nice, almost feels like a padded, cushiony feel. Spins are super easy. Anywhere you put your finger, um, you're going to get a nice flip out of this. This is by far one of our favorites. The guys in the pro team are using this all the time. You get great, great tricks out of this spinner. Uh, and it's a hardy spinner, and it's just, it's just fun overall. And the same thing, just like this, you can mod this out and you can swap the colors. You can do half one color, half the other color if you want. Um, just a great, great spinner for $10. Um, and this one we actually, this is the one that we actually offer right on our site on Spinnercraft. So great trick spinner, um, just like the big baller, $10 price, just like the big baller, and uh, pretty much you can get it shipped almost anywhere. Okay guys, the next one this month is the UFO Spinner. Now, I don't know if you guys recognize this, but this was submitted during the do-it-yourself contest that we had by Dave over at Gadget Tech, and I've been playing with it so much. It was one of the do-it-yourselfers, and I'm kind of hooked on it. I love the big buttons. I love the length of the arms. It's been so fun. Um, so I decided to include it because it's just cool. 
Um, Dave has a store where he has these all available. This is 3D printed, but it's a much higher quality than the average ones that you would get at home. Um, this is done professionally and it looks professionally. Now, if you go check out Dave's website, you'll find that he sells, he doesn't sell them complete, but he sells the pieces, which I kind of think is really cool. So you can kind of modify and create one yourself. Not only is this spinner um, have these big, beautiful, beefy buttons for tricking, has an amazing, amazing finger feel, hand feel, spins super easy. It gives you, obviously you can see the great warps. It's a little bit loud, but, but it's expected because this thing is just stunning. I mean, it's got the big, beautiful balls in it. You're gonna get a little bit of movement there. And I love the fact that the caps, let me get these caps open, I wanna be, I wanna be nice and, easy with them. These caps are actually magnetic. So you can see right there, he's got the magnet on both sides and boom. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. We can see the ceramics in there. I love this little element here with the red bridges right there. That's really, really fun. And uh, it's just a fun spinner. So definitely, definitely pulling out one of the do-it-yourselfers for the contest and bringing you guys up because this thing is fun. Okay, the next one in our top five is the Lil Baller from us, from Spinnercraft. And I love this spinner because again, it's another one of the spinners that's in our $10 spinner series. Uh, so it's super affordable. And the thing that's so cool about this is obviously it has so many different types of functions. First of all, you can see right away we're just playing around with the caps. You can swap the caps, you can swap the body, just like you can with the big baller, just like you can do with the hex baller. Um, so the little baller is no different. You can swap all that stuff out. You can use it as a regular spinner. Super easy to spin. Gets great warps, as you can see, and it's just fun to fidget with because it's like the perfect spot to drop your finger in and it always catches it every time. So I really like that factor. Second factor to it, okay? So that part's cool, that's one function, reg regular fidget spinner. Second function is, look, look who we've got in here. We've got a big 608 ceramic hybrid bearing. So now if you're using a traditional ABS uh, spinner, or even if you have the Pro Fidget Spinner, you can actually pop this out. Let me do it right here. Drop the ball. And then you can use this bearing if you wanted to inside your traditional ABS plastic tri spinner. So this bearing is cool. You can use it in there or you can use it on your regular spinner. The Lil Baller also comes with these rings here, so you can actually take a little rubber ring, one side, the other side, you can hook it on your pen pencil, and you can get a nice little spin that way too. As you can see, the spin is really, really easy. Look at that. It's just smooth. It's just a nice smooth spin. So then not only does this, not only does this spinner come with these uh, rubber bands here so you can put it around your pen and pencil, it also comes with an extra ball in case you lose one. And then I think this is a really fun feature too. It comes with this little spinning top uh, insert. So you can go ahead and pop the caps off, you can put the insert in, you can get this spinning, and then you can go ahead and put it on the ground or something like that and you can get a nice little top spin out of it. And one of the coolest features that I like and that you probably already noticed is, is there's no screws on this. So there's no screws, there's no opportunity or chance to strip anything. This is actually held in place by the bearing. So if you wanna take this apart, you just literally push the bearing out and that's it. Now you can swap colors. Now it's super easy, definitely no way of messing that up. Um, it makes swapping colors super simple and that's it. It's as simple as that. So definitely go check out the Lil Baller. This is one that we have right on our site on Spinnercraft. You can see the link above if you'd like. This is definitely, definitely one of our top five, especially for being such a multi-use spinner. Guys, number five from Metallic Revolutions, the 357 spinner. Look at this thing. I mean, I don't promote guns. I don't promote guns on this channel by any means but this thing is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, obviously in the shape of the 357 Magnum, it has these beautiful brass slugs here, spins like a dream. I mean, 
it spins beautiful. You can see the, the slugs go around it. You can also get them in uh, silver if you'd like as well. But here's the coolest thing about this. I mean, check this out. We flip this over and on the back, these are glow in the dark slugs. So one side's brass, the other side is a glow in the dark slug and you can spin this and you can see the glow at night. And let me tell you how cool this is. See these, see these little slugs? Oh yeah, these things pop out and let me tell you, they are a perfect fit. There is no messing around. This is amazing. I mean, each one of these is hand done, has a nice little seal at the top, uh, has a beautiful slug and just go, you could even probably have fun with it. You could probably go two one way and two the other way and it'll probably create a nice little fun pattern when you give it a spin. When it's all glowing, same thing here. I mean, it's just a great, great, great spinner. I love it. I love the size of it. I love the style. I love how they did these slugs. I mean, it's just, I mean, there is, those aren't coming out. This is, this is machine and precision uh, to the umph degree. And this is a high-end spinner, obviously. This was $165, you know, compared to, uh, you know, a $10 spinner or maybe that's going to be $15, $20 once you piece things together. Um, you know, like another one that's in the $10, $11 range. And then these ones were more high-end. These are, um, I think, in the $100 range. Um, but So this is definitely the most expensive one that we've gone through but it's just a beautiful piece. And if you are a fan and are into something like this, I'll tell you, you probably, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be uh, disappointed. Of course, everybody has a different price range. You know, this one's $165 and most people aren't gonna be able to afford that. To be quite honest, if I wasn't doing these for reviews, I probably wouldn't be buying as many in the upper price range as well, but it's a collector's piece. You know, it took me, I think, a month and a half before this was made available, and my name was put on a list, and there's, you know, 700, 800 people on that list. So if that's your thing and you really want to look for something like that, then I highly suggest you check this out. Um, but I know a lot of times just the $10 one is cool for most of you guys, and that's totally fine. But I want to show you the whole range so you can understand what's out there and what's going on in the market. So guys, again, let's just line them up. Got our top five, boom. We got the one from Gadget Tech. Go check out the link in the description. 357 from Metallic Revolutions. We've got the Hex Baller from Spinnercraft. We've got the Corsair from Pozniakoff. And last but not least, we got the Little Baller from Spinnercraft. Thanks guys so much. Now, let me answer one question for you. I know a lot of people have said, hey, you're talking about the ones that you sell in there. How come you're talking about the ones that you sell? Like, are you just saying that? Well. Guys, this is how it works. I go and I research and I go and I try to find some of the best spinners for you and I try to present them the next month. So if I've done research and I'm looking and I find an amazing spinner that I can show you guys, well, of course it's gonna be in my top five that month because I just searched really hard trying to find that spinner for you. It's not like I'm doing a top five and just saying, hey, what do I have in stock? I'm gonna just talk about those. No, it's not that. It's I actually research and look hard to find these pieces for you and that's why I like to present them for you in the top five. Um, sometimes there will be some from ours, sometimes there won't. Um, like primarily these aren't from uh, our company at all, but um, I want to always make sure you guys are well informed, even the high priced ones, the low priced ones, the 3D printed ones, the plastic ones, the new rubberized plastic and the new technology that's coming out. All of those things I want to make sure you guys uh, are fully aware of so you can understand how the spinner trend is moving. All right guys, thanks so much for joining me on the top five best spinners, best in class for the month of May. I appreciate it guys. Be sure to go check the link below the video uh, for all of the information about those particular companies and where you can find those particular spinners. Now, those of you guys that are entering into our photo contest, which ends in two days, two days, please go ahead and get your entries in now. Go to spinnercraft.com, go to the bottom and click on the link that says contest. Once you click on that, you'll be able to read about how you can enter, what all of the prizes are. I'm really excited to see your photos. This is the top 
creative photo with your spinner. It doesn't have to have you in it, but it just has to have your spinner. Something creative, something cool, could be out in nature, could be anywhere. I wanna see it, you guys are creative, so I'm super excited to see your photos. It doesn't have to be on a special camera. It can just be on you know, your smartphone, iPhone, whatever you got. Um, but go ahead, check out how to enter uh, on the contest link on our page, spinnercraft.com, because I wanna see your stuff, and you only got a couple days left, so definitely get your entries in. Um, thanks guys so much. Thanks for joining me on this. If you haven't gone and signed up for the giveaway, dude, go sign up for the giveaway, go to our last video. We're doing a 100 spinner giveaway. That's right, a 100 spinner giveaway of the big baller spinner, not just an ABS plastic one, but the big baller, the crowd favorite, the one everybody likes. We're giving away 100 spinners, one to 100 people. So not one person's getting them all. So you've got a lot of chances to get a free spinner. Ship them anywhere in the world. No biggie. Anywhere in the world, if you win, you got a free spinner from Spinnercraft. So go back to the last video and go in the link see how you can enter the giveaway, and I am super excited to be giving those out to you guys. You guys have been pumped, you guys have been asking me for a giveaway, so here it is, we're going big. We're doing, we're breaking all the records and we're doing the biggest giveaway we've ever done before with 100 spinners. So thank you guys, join the Creative Photo Contest, join the free giveaway. Hey, just, just be a part of the community, you know what I mean? Go join us over at Instagram, at Spinnercraft, and you can see all the guys on the Spinnercraft Pro Team. They're always putting pictures up. They're always tagging the most amazing tricks. So if you guys like tricks and you're interested in that, go definitely check out the Instagram account. If you guys are interested in finding out about the latest updates on products, the newest spinners, everything that comes out, then definitely go over to our Facebook, facebook.com slash Spinnercraft, and we'll hook you up with all the details. That's it. Top five. Bunch of stuff. Let's go have fun and spin. It's your boy Philip here. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Peace.